to our graduation ceremony this evening. I would like to present our outstanding faculty of Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School. It is now my privilege to present the 52nd graduating class of Little Rock Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School, the class of 2023.
Would you please stand and remain standing through the presentation of colors and the singing of the national anthem by Parkview seniors Grant Baker, Chloe Buchanan, Elizabeth Guerrero, and Kennedy Timms. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce members of the Parkview administration and honored guests on the stage this evening. Superintendent of the Little Rock School District, Dr. Jamal Wright. Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Shana Loring. School Board President, Mr. Michael Mason. And distinguished board members, Ms. Allie Nolan, and Ms. Vicki Hatter. The administrative team, Mr. Nicholas Anderson, Dr. Dexter Booth, Ms. Jasmine Jeter, Mr. Timothy Turner, and Ms. Judy Zink. They always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. Andy Warhol is the theme of this evening's graduation. Hey everyone, my name is Angelina.
some of you may know me by seeing me in some shows here. Some of you I went to other schools with. And some of you may be thinking, who is this girl? I have never seen her before. Does she even go here? But whatever the case may be, if you look around, while we may not be familiar with everyone, we all accomplish the same goal. We got up every day. We rushed to complete some assignments. We got some done on time, though. And we went through four years of nonstop work just to make it to this moment, graduation. Our class went through a lot. Let's walk down memory lane, shall we? Ninth grade. It was great, right? Life was regular. I mean, the only sickness was like the flu. Then boom, sometime in January, for some reason, everybody started getting sick, so they had to shut down the school for a few days to clean it. It was kind of weird, right? But life moved on. And then it didn't. March 2020 happened. Then it was masks, lockdown, pandemic, COVID, virtual schools, 10th grade. Now, whether you were virtual or in person, I know I speak for everyone when I say I hated it. Every day was exactly the same. I was tired of being at home. I was tired of looking at my parents and I know they were tired of looking at me. I just wanted to give up. And I know a lot of people did too. But if you look around, we did it. We pushed through and look at where we are. Then junior year, at least for me, was our best year in high school. My grades were amazing. I was finally happy. I was doing the best year of my life. And then I was doing the one thing that the pandemic took away from me, which was performing. Then we reached the finish line, 12th grade. And when I say senior-itis ain't no joke, I did not want to do anything. And I'm so, so sorry to all the teachers I had this year because it was definitely me, it was not you. But here we are now, we pushed through and we are graduating. Every chapter has a title and we just finished the high school chapter and now we're starting a new one, life. Whether you're scared, anxious and nervous or cool, calm and collected, it's coming and it's coming fast. Change is inevitable, but how you view change is how you're going to conquer it. For a lot of us, we're not going to be living in our parents' home anymore. We're gonna be on our own, making our own decisions, living our life and creating our future. The key to success is not letting these changes, however, be the death of us. Instead, we need to let these changes motivate us and to be the, first, to be, be the best version of ourselves that we can be. For a lot of people, this is our first taste of freedom, but don't get carried away. Do your work, go to class, go to work, don't stay out too late, and be safe and trust your intuition. It's a scary world out there and we're stepping into it for the first time. Our parents and our family aren't gonna be there to protect us anymore. It's gonna be us against the world. And in order for us to conquer that, we have to stay focused. You can conquer change, but don't let change conquer you. But change isn't all business. Change can be fun too. We now can experience a whole new world with a new possibility of changes. We're gonna meet so many new people. We're gonna go through so many amazing things, meet so many amazing people and places. The key to that is staying focused. Don't get so wrapped up in one person, one place, one thing, that you forget to enjoy the moments. We hold the key to our future. Now, will we unlock it or will we lose it? Thank you. Thank you to my family, teachers, and administrators for all that you have done for my education. It is because of all of you that I have been able to get through high school mentally sane. It is because of you that I've been able to get the Seizure Safe Schools Act passed into law. It is because of all of you that I started believing that I can enjoy art and science. I have been become a multifaceted individual because of you. Without all the support through these four years, I would not be the person I am or be where I am today. Andy Warhol once said, they always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. During our four years in high school, one of the biggest problems was COVID. It was hard. Everybody had their own unique experiences with COVID. Even though we were lucky to have junior takeover day, be in person junior and senior year, have our prom and senior banquet, we were still affected because we missed half of our freshman year and our sophomore year, which were developmental milestones for us. It took a toll on everybody. It affected some of their ability to learn at home, understand the material being taught, and being isolated from society. I know it affected me being an only child and dealing with my epilepsy. I have been open to people about my journey with epilepsy and it took me down during COVID. I had my first big seizure during COVID while doing virtual school my sophomore year, 
which happened while running for junior class president, which was a stressful event within itself. I do not know specifically what every single one of you went through with COVID, but I know it affected us all in many different ways. But we can no longer blame COVID. Even though it had a big, a big effect on us, we have to change things for ourselves. The world is as normal as it can possibly be. As we go on to college, trade school, or straight into a job, it is up to us to determine what we want for our future. We can make anything happen for ourselves, but we have to put in the work and the time, which is a lot easier said than done. But we can do anything if we can get through high school during a global pandemic. High school has been difficult. You have to deal with your own personal issues while trying to be successful in school. Trying to deal with puberty and finding your identity, but still trying to make that A in that class. Trying to deal with losing and gaining friends. Feeling left out sometimes, which is something we have all experienced. And being the perfect student. I don't even know what perfect means anymore. Everything out of the classroom and in the classroom combining together became stressful, which even though you might not be able to relate to the seizure part, I know everybody can relate to the inside and outside classroom problems stacking upon each other. But among all these stressful experiences, there have been even more positive ones. Think about freshman year. When I think about freshman me, I cringe a little. I remember my first day of school, my hands were shaking, and I did not understand the zone system. I had to ask a teacher for help, which calmed me down, and I eventually got to Mr. Moore's English class. Then I look back as a senior, and I laugh at that. We were all essentially little kids that thought we were a lot older than we actually were. And I think of all the great things that have happened over these past four years. For example, Junior Takeover Day made me feel like I was among my family, which in a way, I was. I was with my Part D family. Even the people I do not know that well, I still feel like we're a family. Throughout my experience at Part View, I've always felt a part of something. My teachers have always made me feel like they care about me, and I knew I could talk to them. With English, seminar, and research, I've had Mr. Weed for, four, for three years, so imagining not being in his class next year is a really sad thought. Part view has felt like a home, and I am forever grateful for the love that all my teachers and friends have given me. We are all one big family. Even though I am extremely excited for this next chapter at Rhodes College, I am sad to see the end of this chapter. So, as Andy Warhol put it, they always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. You can always find a place at Parkview and have those wonderful and stressful memories, but you cannot stay stuck in the past. Today is a day of our celebration of graduating high school, which is something to be very proud of because not everybody gets their high school diploma. Now that you have your diploma, celebrate and decide what you want your future to look like. Only you can determine that and only you can achieve that. Good evening, everybody. As some of you may know, and as some of you may not know, my name is Elliot Spann, and I'm honored to be here in front of you today to give you a couple parting words or um, last minute words of encouragement, if you will. So as I look back on these past four years, I recognize how many things have happened. I remember coming into Patriot Academy in ninth grade and feeling so lost in such a foreign environment. Uh, later that same year, I was just beginning to sort of find my way, and then it was announced that we would be receiving what we believed would be a couple weeks off. That couple weeks turned into a whole year of online classes, and then that following year, 11th grade, was like a readjustment to in-person interaction, as many of us, myself included, had just started coming back to school. Then there's this year, 12th grade, like senior year, the year that a mark to year that marks how we're no longer just little kids. And looking back on all these things, I can recognize how much things have changed and the different things that have occurred. However, I also recognize how things could have very, very easily remained the same. And I know that sounds like a bit of a paradox, but stay with me and hopefully what I'm about to say offers some kind of understanding. So Andy Warhol has a quote and it reads, they always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. I think about this in regards to my high school experience. I could have gotten stuck in the boring repetition of go to class, do your assignments, go to sleep, repeat, and allowed myself to remain this same anxious little boy that was immeasurably unsure of himself in ninth grade. I could have been complacent and never stepped out 
of my comfort zones and allow time to just pass me by as I gone or as I went through each year of my education. However, I made a conscious decision to work on and better myself. I've gotten my confidence up and put myself out there in ways I never could have imagined. Case in point, I express myself and wear clothes that I could have never imagined being comfortable enough to do in ninth grade as this wide-eyed little freshman. And so extending beyond myself, I don't say this as a means of saying that I have everything figured out because it's not to say that. It's more to say that none of these developments in my character would have occurred had I not sparked this fire in myself to grow, a fire in myself to change. And so, <clears throat> as I said, going beyond myself, I believe it's important for each of you to recognize the growth that you've experienced up to this point in life today. Whatever you've done, some of you have competed in competitions for band, choir, debate, esports, engineering and robotics, whatever it may be, some of which may have even been out of state. Some of you have had grades that were so cataclysmically low, but managed to pull off these academic comebacks that were worthy of Hall of Fame levels of recognition. Some of you have shot your shot in that one person's DMs, whether it was a success or a failure. Whatever you've done, please recognize that you've grown, you've experienced highs and lows, you've worked and grown in some way to be at this exact point you're at in your life right now. And yes, being on the verge of entering this next chapter in life is scary, definitely. It's filled to the brim with uncertainty, undoubtedly. However, I believe that there is something to love about this point in life right now because it offers an amazing time for introspection, a time to look back and reflect. Our childhoods are over, high school is over. And at least for me, that realization has liberated me from the idea that I should be anyone else other than who I am right now. I'm someone who's immensely passionate about cartoons and music, someone who loves the art of learning and wants to see and explore the world and all it has to offer. And when I think about this, as I said, these, these formative years of our high school education are over. The childhood aspect of our lives is over. And essentially the foundations of our distinct characters has been laid. What lies ahead now for myself and all of you is a matter of building upon these foundations and constructing this fully realized masterpiece of who you all want to be. And so not to hold um, too much more of your time, I recite this speech as a means of providing small glimpses of my high school experience in the hope that it may resonate with some of you. And I also recite it as a request. Henceforth, I want you to all continue being awesome. I want you to seize more opportunities, see more places, meet more people, impact more lives. I want you all to be deliberate and intentional in your future endeavors. I ask that you pursue and execute your dreams and desires with passion. I ask that you live your lives with tenacity in the face of relentless uncertainty and adversity. And moreover, please, 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 don't just let time pass you by. Thank you.
Now, it is with great pleasure that I present Dr. Jamal Wright, Superintendent of the Little Rock School District. Good evening and greetings to the Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School graduating class of 2023. To the parents and guardians, family members and friends, members of the LRSD board, administrators, teachers, and staff, and to all other guests present, this is an exciting time for our graduates. And it's also an exciting time for me. Together, graduates, we mark a completion. For you as a student, and for me as my first year as LRSD superintendent. And I think it's safe to say that we are all glad we made it. This is indeed a significant milestone, and you should definitely be applauded for your accomplishments to this point. But the game is not over. You are just kicking into gear for the next level. By virtue of your graduation, you have proven that you are ready to move forward. That may mean college, career, or military service. But it is not merely about completing a degree, finding a job, or pursuing a successful career. But it's about making a meaningful difference in the world around you. I encourage each of you to take a moment to reflect on this profound question. What on earth are you here for? We have no doubt that you are prepared to do great things, but you are not here merely to exist. You are here to make a difference, to leave an indelible mark on your community and our world. Take the time to discover your passions, follow your dreams, and embrace opportunities that align with your values. Whether it's through acts of kindness, innovative ideas, or advocacy for important causes, never underestimate the power you hold to create positive change. Embrace challenges with determination. Learn from failures and let your resilience guide you. Your impact may start small, but with perseverance, dedication, and a strong sense of purpose, it will grow beyond your imagination. In closing, I want to leave you with an adapted quote from Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous, Actually, who are you not to be? Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightening about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, and as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Graduates, you are meant for more. Your purpose is not just about personal and professional success, but living to impact, to inspire, to uplift, to shine, and to liberate those around you. Congratulations again, and we can't wait to see you in action. Go forth and do great things. Congratulations again. During the ceremony, a photograph will be taken of each student as they cross the stage and receive their diploma. We ask that all audience members quietly remain quietly in the stands 
as to provide the proper atmosphere and respect that the graduates deserve during this program and the presentation of their diplomas. Noisemakers, horns, bells, yelling, or any other distractions are not conducive to the dignity and grandeur of this event. Please assist us by acknowledging the graduates after completion of two rows. Your assistance will help provide the best possible graduation for each student. We now come to the part of the program for which you have been waiting, the awarding of the diplomas. For this purpose, I ask that the superintendent, Dr. Wright, please come forward to confer the diplomas to the senior class of 2023. Would Parkview faculty please stand? On behalf of their completion of prescribed coursework and curriculum requirements for graduation within Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School and the Little Rock School District, we now recommend that the class of 2023 be awarded their diplomas. On behalf of the Secretary of Education of the State of Arkansas, we are pleased to accept your certification that these students have met the requirements for graduation. Parkview administrators, please come forward and present your list of graduates. Will the first two rows of graduates please stand? Francis Wike Achuku, Hannah Danielle Alexander, Jalea Nicole Alexander, Forrest James Albritton, Benjamin Leon Allen, Jordan Alexandria Anderson. Lindsay Ruth Anderson. Lyric Lachelle Anderson. Quentin Nole Anderson. Ashley. Tamaya Lois Arnold. Hunter Keith Austin. Jessica Avalos Juarez. Carson Joshua Backus. Sullivan Dean Bailey. Grant Samuel Baker. Jeremiah Gerard Baker. Joshua Lamont Baker. Jacob Dwight Barnes. Alyssa Danielle Barron. Aya Barrow. Ayana Deanne Batch. Michaela Nicole Beeler. Angelina Michelle Bearden. 
Darian Lamar Bennett. Malika Diana Black. Austin Cortez Bone. Daniel Fene Bone. Carson DeAnthony Bone. Noelia Ann Borkowski. Anaya Carez Boykins. Kelton D. Boykins. Elena Ann Brinsfield. Nyla Michelle Brown. Rashad Ali Brown. Cameron Alicia Bryant. Chloe Chantel Buchanan. Lily Grace Lincoln Burdett. Madison Nia Caldwell. Jalen LaShawn Calhoun. Christopher Jermaine Campbell. Jalasia Amaria Carr. Sierra Madeline Carrillo. Elor Carbajal. Sherelle Anaya Casey. Stephen Jonathan Castro. Carice Javon Chambly, Bobby Cornell Che, Alasia Janae Clemens, Kaven Rose Coleman, Nathaniel Hunter Charles Coley, Kaviana Celise Cooper, Angel Damien Castillo, Zachary M. Cox, Jasmine Janae Davis, Isabel De Los Santos, Chandler Calise Dean, Christian Kyle Dean. Diego Jose Diaz. Faith Olivia Dawn. Megan Riley Doris. Omar Duran. Willie Jeremiah Eccles. Don't stop out it. Nancy. Ella Becky, Gianna Kyrie Elson, Haley Ngano, Lane Von Udy, Terrence Christopher Evans, Nathaniel Boyd Ferguson, Zoe Alexis Ferguson, Kevin Fernandez, Al Bradford Fitzpatrick, Evelyn Janet Flores, Sierra Alexis Flowers, 
Traven Jawan Flowers, Ella Nicole Foster, Christopher David Franklin, Hannah Nicole Frazier, Zoe Samara Frazier, Asia Desiree Gates, Christian Gabriel George, Gabrielle Eula Leanne Gilmore, Mason Tamar Gibbons, Angela Lizard Gonzalez, Marissa Gonzalez Ramirez, Riley Nicole Gore. Jasmine and Stephanie Granados. Kyra Marie Wyvette Green. Elizabeth Kimberly Guerrero. Connor Patrick Hayden. Madison Chantel Hampton. Tavion Jamal Haney. Brianna Chanel Harris. Clark Allen Harris. Jerron Solithiel Harris. Kyrie LaGrace Harris. Tyler Bradley Hasbury. Brandon Keith Heyman. Neil Allen Henry. Thaddeus E. Higgins. Markel Tashan Highsmith. William Scott Hightower. Jaden Caleb Hobbs. Zamaji Martavius Holmes. Faith Michelle Howard. Harry Delino Howard. Reagan Michaela Howard. Cadence Olivia Huddleston. Damie Eunice Jackson. Cameron Latrell Jackson. Madison Rikaya Jackson. Jalea Lene Jamerson. Imani Crystal James. Jalasia Ariana Jeffers. Malay Danielle Jefferson. Caitlin Raquel Jeffers. Robert Tracy Jemerson. Jeremy Keith Johnson, Kamaya Anya Lee Johnson, Lauren Janae Johnson, Weston Javon Johnson Coleman, Hilda Noemi Joe Herrera, Austin Chandler Jones. Sierra Ann Jones, Randon Bernard Jones, David Allen Kamanga, Deanne Nicole Kamanga, Ava Gail Keck, Joseph Joshua Killingsworth, Vidna Kim, Nazaria Zanae Kims. Sadie Adele Kirk. 
John Rakesh Kanyoli. Mackenzie Michelle Landry, Renaya Brandy Brandice Laster, Amaya Renee Lawson, Cortland Lawson, Kenneth Lee the Third, Michaela Nicole Lee. Lazane Cherie Letchaw, Anthony Christopher Livingston, James Drew Lucas, Hannah Marie Lugo, Apple Janae Haven Luna, Lady Michelle Magana. Kanaya Shanice Malone, Jamie Patrice Marks, Marielle Guadalupe Martinez, Sydney Grace Maxwell, Bryce Trenton Mayo, Lilith May McAfee. Damian Dion McCone, Tyler Deshaun McCoy, Joseph Melvin McCraney, Malena Lee McEwen, Michaela Rochelle McEwen, Keith Maurice McGee Jr. Myla Ray McGee, Jarkevious Lawan McKellar, Isaiah Lamont McKenzie, Reginald James Millen, Lucas James Miners, Blake Allen Mitchell. Molly Rebecca Mitchell, Mariah Rochelle Mitchell, Jamarius Quinn Morgan, Michaela Lene Morrison, Jay Brielle Nelson, Tony Anaya Nelson. Tylan Lamar Noel, Mayana Nashe Norman, Jude Shibeki Onoa, Jordy Osei Anyquelli, Nehemiah Austin Utsi. Jada Alicia Page, Jayla Yvette Page, Michaela Lachey Palmer, Justin Danielle Partman, Anasia Dolores Pennington, Aiden Zachariah Pippinich, Swastika. Sia Pokerell, Courtney Kiosha Polk, Nevea Riona Porsche, Cameron Armin Price, Ivy Sophia Quezada, Dayanara Mariana Ramirez. Kareem Amar Reed, Luis Rolando Reno, Saeed Danielle Reyes, 
Ascension Michael Robinson. Tyra Antone Robinson. Quintarius Damaja Rogers. Jocelyn Rojas Canero. Ashley Romero. Itzel Romero. Tyler Jordan Rose. Nariah Jade Russell. Sydney Portrayo Sanders. Carl Eldridge Sanders, Jr. Christian Kyler Sanson. Kylie Nicole Scott. Cameron Richard Scuderi. Evan Lee Seals. Carla Servin. Mikhail Aziz Shabazz. Kiera Simone Shelton. Michaela Janice Shepard. Malik Aline Shabazz. Destiny Siggers. Faith Siggers. Ariah Nicole Dale Slater. Brendan Lamar Smith. Kaylee Nicole Smith. Carolina K. Smith. Kiera Ann Smith, Mariah Janae Smith, Ramar Latarius Smith, Skylar Monique Smith, Haley Alyssa Sneed, Brian Soto, Elliot Christopher Spann, <laughs> Wilfred Shadera Spencer Cole, Mia Simone Springs, Micah Patrice Starks, Kenneth Fondren Starnes, Sarah Patrice Starnes, Lauren Ashley Steele. Janae Laurencia Stewart. Janiah Delise Stewart. Jordan Amaya Stidham. Francis Oscar Sestita. Dylan Wayne Sykes. LaDonna Monet Tate. Kenneth Earl Thomas. Taylor Elise Thomas, Kanisha Sakaya Thomason, Carly Joy Tidwell, Serene Makariah Tillman, Kennedy Nashe Timms. Diana Guadalupe Torres Garcia, Paloma Urias, Christina Marisol Valdez Moreno, Alessandro Vasquez, Franco Giovanni Verdon, Jose De, De Jesus. Villapondo, Benjamin Tanner Warren, Lyric Kennedy Washington, Cortez Leon Watson, Ayana Nicole Wayne, Janice Jalexia White, Eva Marie Whittier, 
Kayla Elizabeth Wilbert, Clayton Michael Wilbin, Kennedy Michelle Wilkerson, Jalen Jamario Williams, Jeremiah Deshaun Williams, Lydia Shalora Williams, Shatoria Denise Williams, Carlos Quanche Wilson, Thank you. Lauren Saraja Wilson Fuller, Kobe Allen Winkler, Nicole Radea Wooford, Carlos Romonte Woods, Aiden Scott Woolbright, Sanaya Ane Worthy, Demarion Vidal Wright, Trinaya Lachey Young. Sydney Ratliff, Christiana Robinson, Dynasty Sosa, Dynasty Sosa, Zariah Washington. We now wish to acknowledge our honor graduates. The top 10 graduates for the class of 2023, based on the eighth semester rankings are in alphabetical order. Isabel De Los Santos, please stand when I call your name. Connor Patrick Hayden. Tyler Bradley Hasbury. Kaylin Raquel Jeffries. Sadie Adele Kirk. Cameron Richard Scuderi. Myla Ray McGee. Lucas James Miners. Elliot Christopher Spann, Jr. And our valedictorian, Tyler Bradley Hasbury. Our salutatorian, Cameron Richard Scuderi. With the remaining honor graduates, please stand. Thank you. You may please be seated.
Good evening. Each year, we are honored to announce several scholarships specific to our school. I'd like to take this time to announce 10 special scholarships that have, be, have not been announced until tonight. Will the recipients of these awards please stand as your name is called? The first two scholarships are in honor of a former student and teacher. The recipient of the Tummy Lobe Scholarship, which is awarded to a student with an interest in journalism, is Ms. Lily Burdett. The Jackson Greenway Scholarship is awarded to a student athlete who has exemplified great achievements academically as well as athletically. The recipient of this award for this year is Mr. Carlos Wilson. The next set of awards are in honor of former Parkview principals. These awards are awarded annually for these principals' countless leadership, contributions to Parkview, and the Little Rock School District. The first recipient of the Leonard Spitzer Scholarship is Mr. Kobe Winkler. The winner of the R.J. Alzheimer Scholarship is Mr. Key McGee, Jr. The recipient of the Junior's Bab Scholarship is Ms. Lauren Steele. The winner of the Dr. Linda Brown Scholarship is Ms. Kennedy Timms. The recipient of the James Castleberry Scholarship is Ms. Jessica Juarez. And our last principal award is in honor of Dr. Dexter Booth. And the winner of this award for this year is Ms. Brenaya Laster. Our next award is the Tracy, Tracy Presley Tackett Award. Tracy Presley Tackett was a Parview graduate, a role model, and an icon in the Little Rock dance community. Her commitment to a quality dance education was reflected in the incredi incredible way that she lived her life. As a middle school and high school teacher, she touched and changed the lives of so many. She was the finest example of grace, elegance, and integrity. The recipient for the Tracy Presley Tackett Memorial Scholarship is Mr. Cameron Jackson. The JAG Scholarship is awarded to a senior who participates and fully supports activities sponsored by JAG. This year's recipient is Mr. Jacob Barnes. Please give these graduates another round of applause, please. As we have acknowledged our undergraduates, it is apparent that the class of 2023 has been exemplary. I'm extremely proud to announce that these young people will receive scholarship amounts that total $5,228,000 $301, and let's not forget that 54 cents. If you will, give them a big hand, please. And we're not done. We're expecting to have some additional scholarships added in the next several days. At this time, would all of the graduates please stand? Now is the time for you all to turn 
give a big round of applause to your parents, your teachers, family, and friends who have assisted you and provided you with their support and encouragement throughout your school years. Thank you. You may be seated. I know we asked you guys to be seated, but would you please stand, graduates? Parkview Class of 2023, it is now time to move your tassels from the right to the left, officially recognizing your graduation. Graduates, you may be seated. Please turn your attention to the screen for our farewell address from our senior class president, Sia Porcarell. Good evening, Parkview family. As we come to the end of the ceremony, I would like to thank the Parkview staff for granting me, as a class president, the privilege to speak in front of all of you in behalf of the class of 2023. It's hard to believe that this is the last time all of us are gathered together. The four years that we look forward to on the first day of freshman year went by in the blink of an eye, and now we're here, re reminiscing the times we've had. As I look out to all of you, I'm filled with a sense of pride and accomplishment. Though I'm not close with everyone, I know that all of you have worked hard, pushed past your limits, and overcome a multitude of challenges. I am proud to be a part of such an accomplished and bright group of people. I have faith that all of us will make the world a little better and provide a sense of hope for everyone. I would like to take a moment to thank those that helped us get to the point. Thank you to the wonderful teachers and staff at Parkview. They worked tirelessly to make sure that we get the excellent education we deserve and taught us to strive for excellence and given us wonderful projects that we always ended up doing last minute. They've taught us lessons that transcend beyond just the curriculums and we'll take those lessons forever. They have been our mentors, our role models, and in some cases, even our friends. Thank you for all the hard work that you do, and we will forever be grateful for your support. Let's also thank our parents, whose unwavering love, encouragement, and sacrifices made it possible for us to be here today. They've seen, it, uh, seen us at our best, at our worst, been a shoulder for us to cry on, and provided us with so many when I was your age stories. They've always believed in us and worked hard to make sure that we get everything that we deserve. On behalf of the class, entire class, thank you for your love and support, and we couldn't have done it without you. Let's also thank our friends, who know us better than we know ourselves. They've always stood beside us, despite the drama that might be going on. They've helped us make unforgettable memories and made us laugh till our sides hurt. There's no sweet, sweeter memory than watching our friends grow alongside us. While today is a day of celebration, it is also a day of reflection. I know that it's hard to believe now, but someday we will also be sharing when I was your age stories to our children. Filled with nostalgia when we think about the last four years. We remember getting hyped for the games, cramming the whole semester worth of lessons in two days for the semester exams, and falling asleep in the middle of online classes. As much as we cherish these memories, we must also embrace the bright future ahead of us. I have no doubt that all of us have the ability to become kind, compassionate, empathetic, and hardworking adults who bring forth wonderful changes and fight for what is right. As we celebrate this moment, let us forget about all the petty fights and instead leave with a sense of purpose and a passion to improve the lives of others. Let us take with us the lessons we've learned, the friends we've made, and the memories that will forever be cherished. Let us embrace the future and believe that the sky is truly the limit. Congratulations, class of 2023. We made it to the end. In recognition of the class of 2023, we ask the audience to please stand as Christian Dean leads the class in the singing of the alma mater.
All right, seniors, if you'd like to stand and throw your hats in the air, this is the time. Congratulations. Woo! All right, get your hats. 